The Champions League last 16 tie between Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain is a matter of huge importance for each club. 50 days out from the game, there's a lot of tension between the two clubs, most of that centered around Kylian Mbappe and his expiring contract at the Parc des Princes. Now the question is, who is in the better position? Both are dominating their respective domestic leagues this season, and few are doubting that they will both go on to be crowned champions come May. Carlo Ancelotti is leading a team without any real superstars at Real Madrid, while Mauricio Pochettino is having to manage egos in Paris, and the side don't appear to be at their best yet. Lionel Messi hasn't fully settled, Neymar is out injured, Mbappe's contract is expiring, Sergio Ramos hasn't got going, and John Luigi Donnarumma has been struggling to take Kaylor Navas' place between the sticks. In the table, both have 46 points from 19 games so far, with 14 wins, 4 draws and 1 loss. Real Madrid topped their Champions League group, while PSG were runners-up behind Manchester City. On the other hand, the Mbappe case is heating up. This Saturday, January 1, Kylian Mbappe will be free to sign a contract with Real Madrid, but PSG aren't happy that the player hasn't given them much hope of agreeing a renewal. PSG believe that Real Madrid have played dirty with Mbappe, adding more spice to an already heated tie. Of course, Mbappe isn't going to make any moves until after the game against Real Madrid has passed. The two games are on February 15 and March 8, so nothing will happen before then. Real Madrid and PSG no longer share a good relationship off the pitch. Again, Sergio Ramos returned to the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu after having spent 16 years there is an obvious storyline, and his exit to PSG came after he had said he would never join a club competing against Real Madrid. There's also the small matter of Lionel Messi, who has always been public enemy number one at the Bernabeu. The former Barcelona captain has haunted Real Madrid so many times before, and he'll look to do that again this season. Real Madrid and PSG now have 50 days to prepare for the tie. Los Blancos have almost no injuries, though they have to move on from their recent COVID outbreak. Should they manage to keep that under control, then Ancelotti will be able to call upon all of his usual starters, 